Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress custom post to type tutorial for beginners and this is our part 1. In this video session guys, we will discuss about what are post, what are the default post types, what is a custom post type and what will be the plan for this playlist. Basically guys from this video sessions actually we had started one of the most exciting playlist of WordPress custom post type tutorial okay so and also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our various types of WordPress customizations from channel called online web tutor basically guys this is our first video session so in this video session we will use or we will see some basic concepts about WordPress custom post type okay so basically if you are a WordPress developer then you might heard about the term called post okay so post is nothing post the single entity single content actually we can publish in the WordPress panel okay so if we go to the documentation of codex.wordpress.org this is the official website of WordPress documentation you can find several basic concepts about WordPress post in deep right here okay so let's start from the beginning WordPress can hold and display many different types of content a single item of such a content is generally called a post okay so basically if we publish any of the section from this menu tab or this menu tab or either any of these menu tab actually all these entities will be saved in our table called WP posts WP post table is guys is very much important table in our WordPress setup database okay if we means publish any page if we publish any media if we publish any page all these sections actually are saved inside this table but remember these all differentiated by using one of the column called post type this post type hold actually what the post type we are publishing okay so let's insert some pages so just click on page and let's say that add new let's say that test page okay test page that we have made and now let's say this is our test page we have created okay so just I'm clicking on publish now successfully we have published a page okay if you go to database table this is WP post table if we click on browse after clicking on browse if we see that this is the page that we have created right here test page okay if we just make a descending order and now this is the page that we have created called test page okay so if we scroll to post type column then we can see that post type equal to page okay basically we have created a page from our WordPress setup and this WordPress setup of type this WordPress content that we have created is of type page let's create another post from this menu tab so if I click on that click on add new and let's say that test post okay so let's add some of the dummy content this is a simple test post that we have done okay click on publish and now if you go again back to our database table if we reload this page and now as we can see that if I sort by descending just click on descending and now this is the post that we have created and the same table actually has been used to insert this post also okay so this is the test post that we have created so if we scroll to the column called post type then we can see that it is a type of post so according to the post type column guys according to the post type actually the WordPress provides the WordPress differentiates that what type actually it is we have inserted a page we have inserted a post anything if you insert from our WordPress panel all default actually saved inside this WP post table okay if suppose we are making some plugins and now by the help of that plugin actually we are generating some tables then at that condition we can use that table to insert but by default if we create any page any post any custom post type all will be inserted inside WP post table but WordPress differentiates by using the column called post type okay so what are the different types of post post types actually WordPress provides so if I scroll down so these are the WordPress default post type as we have seen two more two of them like post and the page okay so this is the documentation now WordPress provides type post type pay post post type page attachment revision as we can say this is an also a column inserted right here called revision okay so this is name menu item 
this basically means guys that if you are creating any of the menus any of the navigation bar for our WordPress website then all the navigation menus actually saved inside our this table but remember the post type is now nav menu item okay so basically these are the default post types okay and now you can study you can learn all about these post types in detail right here okay so in this playlist guys in this playlist called WordPress custom post type tutorial we are not going to discuss about that what are the different post types and how can we use them basically about the custom post types guys in WordPress you can do experiment in your WordPress setup you can create pages you can create posts you can create comments you can create any navigation menus and now by inserting one by one you can check your WP post table and remember you have to check about the column called post type okay so step by step you will get all these post type okay so basically we are going to discuss about what is a custom post type in WordPress so basically guys we have seen that these are the post types actually created by WordPress default but if suppose if we want to make some of the custom post type some of the user defined post types so how can we define that so this is called the concept of custom post type custom post type is also a post type basically registered by user defined okay user can control all the basics all the concepts concepts all the hierarchy of post type by itself so this is called the concept of custom post type in WordPress so to register a custom post type in WordPress guys actually we will use the function called register post type this is the WordPress function provided by WordPress developers.org basically this function is used and to create a custom post type in our admin panel okay so basically how can we use them if we scroll down just pick a simple example from this documentation later on we will study in deep okay so if I scroll down so this is as you can see this is the basic example actually WordPress developers provided okay so if I copy that just go to our WordPress folder structure click on WP content now inside themes folder this is the activated theme called 2017 how actually we can check that which theme actually activated so if you go to admin panel click on appearances and now this is the 2017 theme right now has been activated okay so if I just go inside this 2017 click on functions.php file so this is the functions.php file so only we have to append only we have to add that code that we have copied from WordPress official website to this page and now we have registered this code inside our functions.php file so if I save this file after save just go to admin panel and reload this page once we reload we can see that this book section is registered by using the function called register post type and remember this is the post type this is the one of the post type that we have registered as a user defined so this is called custom post type so just click on that and now we can create any of the post inside this book section so let's create a post inside that let's say test book okay so this is a custom post type of book okay so if I click on publish after clicking on publish the post has been successfully published if you go to database table just reload this WP post table and now if I again click on descending order just click on descending order so now as we can see that test book has also been inserted inside WP post table but remember if you scroll back to post type this is the post type called book okay so this is the custom post type concept guys where we ha can actually define where we can register our own custom post type to WordPress database about custom post type various types of concept we will learn later in this playlist okay so just go to slides and now what we actually we have covered about the two points that is what are post what are default post types and what is a custom post type so next we actually we will make some of the plan for this playlist to what actually we are going to cover in this playlist okay so basically I have written some of the bulleted points guys to keep in your mind that we will see that how can we register custom post type understanding about the levels of custom post type labels means if you go to admin panel and now just open post in new tab as we can see that post add new okay so as you can see there is a label called search post okay if I click on add new this is a label called add new post okay if I go to pages section 
as you can see that search pages okay this is changes this labels actually changes according to the post type okay if I click on add new this is called add new page these all messages actually changes by the help of these post type okay so if I go to our custom post type that is books if I click on add new and remember if I go to this label then as you can see that search post this is not a simple post this is a custom post type of book okay so we want to show instead of post we want to show called book okay so these are called the labels if I click on add new so this is called add new post this is not a simple post this is a book so how can we control these labels name okay how can we control over that so we will see all these concept inside this topic okay and also we actually learned in our previous playlist called metabox registration about custom metabox in wordpress we had learned okay so how can we register our custom metabox inside our custom post type we can discuss okay as we have seen that while registering our custom post type called book we have actually placed our menu items right here so how can we append if we want to append this menu section inside this appearances inside this plugins means if we want that this book section is not make a menu it will make a sub menu inside any of these menu tabs okay so how can we control the menus and sub menu positions for our custom post type we will see in great detail inside our topic called menus and sub menus playlist placement okay and also if suppose we want to add some of the filters as we can see we have a default filter called all dates okay this is the WordPress provided filters but now if we want to add some of our custom filters right here that suppose if we have added a meta box of author inside this book section then we want to filter all the books according to author so how can we filter that so by for that concept we can actually add a custom filter right here okay so all these concepts we can see inside search filter and now also we have to add custom column inside this data table list okay as we go to pages section clicking on pages and now we can see that title author comment and date these are the columns actually WordPress default provides so what happens actually if we have added a meta box inside this book section and now we want to see we want to show the authors information inside this data table list so how can we append our custom column inside this data table list we will see in this video session called custom column to data table list and finally we will make sort columns functionality what was that actually if we go to page section if we click on title and as you can see that by clicking on title our title is sorting according to ascending and descending order if we click on date now as we can see that our post has been filtered by the ascending and descending order of date okay so we can also make our custom column filter okay if we make any of the column custom columns inside this data table list then now as we want to make the our custom column as a sortable column so how can we make the sortable columns in our means the custom post type okay so all these concepts actually we can see in this playlist so basically guys this was our introduction part of our WordPress custom post app tutorial that we have created from now okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day